Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a millionaire's biggest secret and how you can benefit from it. Stay tuned. What's going on? It's your boy Jeremy Cash live and direct with another valuable video for you. Guys, do you want to know what a millionaire's biggest secret is? I'm going to tell you, it's credit. Listen, credit is very, very powerful. And not only am I going to tell you how to increase your credit score today, but I'm also going to teach you how the millionaires play and how you can play right along with them, even if you have zero dollars at this very moment. So I'm sure you're probably wondering, how? Well, we're gonna get into that. But first, let me tell you a few key things that you need to know. See, most of us think since we were not born into money, meaning we didn't get an inheritance or somebody in our family wasn't rich, that we don't have a chance at this life, this financial freedom. But that's not true. The truth is, the secret has been floating around for many years, but a lot of people don't take advantage of it. Why? Number one, people are just downright lazy. They don't wanna do the research. Number two, people think everything is too hard and they just rather stick with what they're comfortable with, which is a nine to five job. Most people hate their nine to five job and they wanna quit, but they won't. Why? Because they need the money. You will be surprised how many of you guys hit me up with ideas, wanting to you know, start coffee shops, wanting to start you know, brick and mortar businesses and all of this stuff, but you say, man, it seems so hard and so unachievable. Leaving my nine to five doesn't even seem possible at this point. I don't even know where to start. I don't have the money to do what I wanna do. That's where credit comes in, guys. Credit is very powerful. Credit is used for people like me and you who were not born into money to be able to play the same game that the rich have been playing for years. I bet you've been wondering how Walmart started with all of this money. They didn't push billions of dollars into it. They borrowed, they used OPM, other people's money, like credit cards, trade lines, things like that to fund the business. Let me tell you something about Walmart, guys. Let's use this for an example. You know Bounty, the paper towels? This is what Walmart does. They will go buy from Bounty, the actual company Bounty. They will buy bulk from them right because they already they already accumulated enough uh business capital business credit right they'll go buy in bulk a bunch of paper towels they'll put them on the shelves right that funds their store when people buy then they use that money to pay off the debt that they had and then they keep the rest of the money that's how walmart continues to grow same with mcdonald's same with all these other places all these big huge businesses they all operate from credit and business loans guys this is the game now once you get this this year will be the best year of your life and i can promise you that once you understand what i'm about to tell you this will be the best year that you ever had online period right okay so the first thing you need to know you need to build your credit score. You need to build your credit. Credit is the game that you need to play. If you don't know how to get regular rich with the money, you need to get rich in credit, guys. This is the key, right? But how do you how do you increase your credit score if your credit score sucks, you're in the fives, the fours, the sixes, uh, you wanna get to the sevens, right? What do you need to do, right? First, I'm gonna talk to the person who already has credit cards. If you already have credit cards and you have higher balances, you're gonna to have to pay those balances down. Right then and there, your score can jump up, right? Right then and there. You don't need to be worried about getting things deleted off your credit report. I'm gonna tell you how you can do that. But the first thing you know, if you already have credit cards, you need to pay those balances down below 30%, right? Your score will jump up. The second thing you can do is actually call each credit agency and make sure you don't have any old addresses on your credit report. You, you can call TransUnion uh, and it's free. They won't charge you anything. Just say, hey, I wanted to make sure that I have my updated address. You know, if you had any prior apartments or houses that you stayed in before, just make sure, because a lot of the times those apartments and houses will still be on the uh, credit. And once they remove those, your, your score jumps up some more right now i'm going to talk to the person who doesn't have any credit you don't have a credit card you don't have a car loan you're just getting started uh this is what you need to do now listen up and do do exactly what i'm telling you to do and i promise you you'll be good to go right because i'm going to tell i'm going to tell you something major but you know we're going to get there in just a second so 
If you don't have any uh, credit cards or you don't have a car loan or anything on your credit, and you're just trying to build credit. The first thing you need to do is go get a secured credit card. Now, a secured credit card is a card that you put your own money on. So for instance, I have a Discover It secured card, right? What I had to do was I had to take $200 of my own money and I had to pay Discover for them to use that money as my credit line. So now my credit line on the card is $200, right? So when you use that credit card at gas stations, not only does Discover offer 1% back, so I'm getting paid while I'm using my card, but then, you know, the more I use it, they report to the three credit bureaus and that boosts my score. But just for opening a secure credit card, your score can jump up around 50 to 65 points just for opening the card, right? So that is a major thing that you need to do. Get a secure credit card. I, I recommend Discover It, the Discover It secure card because you get cash back and cash back rewards is great when you're getting credit cards and I'll tell you why later. The second thing you can do is go to a website called myjewelersclub.com, right? What this is gonna allow you to do is to be able to finance a piece of jewelry, right? You can finance a piece of jewelry for uh, around $150, right? So you'll pay on $150 for a few months and they will give you a $5,000 credit line, right? So why is this so important? Well, it's actually an unsecured credit line. So if you know anything about secured and unsecured, then you know unsecured is when the banks give you money, secured is when you put your own money up. So like for the prepaid card, I mean the uh, secured credit card, you had to put your own money up to for the banks to start to trust you. So you gotta make payments on time and things like that. But if you ever get a secured card, that means the bank is giving you the money. So you might get a credit card in the mail that has $10,000 on it, right, from the bank. So you wanna get to the secure level. So what My Jewelers Club is doing is it is a unsecured credit line of $5,000 and it's gonna to report to all three credit bureaus, right? So you pay on that for a couple of months, right? Or one or two months, it's gonna report that you have, you've been handling $5,000, right? Not only have you been handling $5,000, but you also been handling your secure credit card. So what are they gonna do? Your score is going to jump up, guys. And the fact that you have a $5,000 unsecured credit line, whenever you go apply for a, you know, um, a Chase Freedom or a uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve or American Express, those big credit cards that everybody wants, once you go apply for those, they'll see that you've already been able to manage secured and unsecured, and they will give you an unsecured card and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do with those cards in just a second. So those are some of the things you can do. You can also go to a website called Self Lender. Now Self Lender is you pretty much paying into a CD, right? You're gonna pay into a fund and then at the end of the 12 months, Self Lender will give you your money back. But while you're paying each month into it, so let's say you pick a plan of $1,200, right? You're gonna take money out of your pocket like $40 a month and you're going to pay for 12 months $40 into self lender and it's just gonna they're going to report that to the credit bureaus so once they report that to the credit bureaus after the 12 months is over you get your money back they give you your money back and now you've established payment history because all credit wants you to do all they want to see is that you know how to make payments over time you know how to make them on time and over a period of time guys so 2019, work on building your credit up, guys. Work on building your credit platform, right? Now, if you wanna get things removed, guys, I have a guy who's a beast. He's on uh, YouTube. His name is CJ The Credit Fixer. This is who I go through when I don't feel like doing credit myself because it's very time consuming trying to do it by yourself, sending letters and you know all that stuff. It gets complicated. So, I go to a guy by the name of CJ The Credit Fixer and I'll put his name on the screen, guys. He's a beast. He, will, he can remove student loans off of your um, credit report. He can remove bankruptcies off of your credit report. He can remove anything, literally. You can walk in a car dealership or a, to get a house loan with a clean slate. Literally, guys. This is the game that the rich play. They play the credit game. See, a lot of us were not taught this game so we were not able to play the game. And we feel like, oh, we need a nine to five 
because you know we don't have enough money or we can't start our business because you know we don't have the money but i'm going to teach you exactly how to get the money guys so this is working on you guys' personal credit side right so if you need things deleted off of your credit report cj the credit fixer is the guy to go to if you go over there to his youtube channel tell him jeremy cash sent me comment on his stuff you know uh he's actually working on me and my wife's credit some more and you know we're gonna we're gonna do it up this year right so after you guys get done you know with things like that they also have another website called hut and chase and it's kind of like my jewelers club where you can finance like a vacuum or something like that and you know they report to just i think i think hut and chase reports to just one credit bureau or two not all three but uh all that stuff helps they give you big credit lines right so once you have that guys once you have that, your score is already gonna be jumping up, right? It's gonna be jumping up. Now, after that, you want to get an authorized user on your uh, credit, right? So if you don't know what an authorized user is, just to give you an example, let's say my mom has an you know, 800 credit score, which she really does, um, and she has a credit card of $20,000, $20,000 credit card, right? she can add me to her credit card as an authorized user meaning i have the same benefits as she has so on my credit report it will show that i have a twenty thousand dollar credit card and whatever payment history she has will now reflect on my credit report right so if she makes all her payments on time and she's very good at handling her credit then guess what on my profile it's going to show that i'm I have a $20,000 uh, you know, credit card and I'm very good at managing. I'm always on time and all that. And that's gonna boost me up around 100 points, literally. That alone can really boost your score, right? Uh, over 100 points, literally. So, but you have to do that with someone who is good at managing their credit. Now, if you don't know anyone, don't worry about that, right? You can buy trade lines. You can actually buy trade lines from other people but they're gonna cost you. So remember I told you guys, this is the year of investing, right? I can get you trade lines. I know where to get them from. If you want trade lines, contact me by email or phone number. I know where to get them. CJ the credit fixer also knows where to get them. Now, a lot of them are ranging from like 1200, 1500, sometimes about eight, 900. They are expensive, but it's very worth it. Once you guys go to CJ the Credit Fixer's page, you will be able to see a lot of his testimonials of people who got, you know, trade lines and what they were able to do with them. So, you know, definitely check that out. If you need trade lines, I do have trade lines as well. I can, you know, hook you up, but it's gonna cost you something. You know, I'm actually an affiliate of, you know, uh, a trade line company and I'll get a commission off of that just for helping you out because I'm giving y'all the game right now I'm giving y'all the game. This is how you gonna win if you have no money. There's no excuse People keep uh, hitting me up in my email and text message saying man I want to join but I don't got the money. There's no excuse to say you don't have money, right? Use credit build credit use your credit card get a credit card like literally a lot of people shun credit cards because they didn't know how to use them use them for business purposes that way you can pay your debt down with the money that you make from your investments guys that's the best way to use it right so now now that you have that let me tell you guys the secret secret right so there's a thing called business credit a lot of you probably already know about it right a lot of you don't business credit is when you form an llc a limited liability company so what i want you guys to do the reason why uh, llc and business credit is so important is because whatever you do on your business side it does not reflect on your personal credit so let's say i had a ten thousand dollar business credit card in my business name so let's say my business name was make money llc right make money llc has a ten thousand dollar credit card i'm the ceo of make money llc right let's say i swipe that credit card and I max it out at $10,000, right? Well, let's say I wasn't able to pay all of it back. Uh, so when it, when it was time to report, it reported that I, I missed a payment or something like that. That would not affect me on my personal credit score at all, right? At all. My credit score would still be in the 700s and it, it would have nothing to do with me because it's on the business side of things, right? But if you had that on your personal side, like you yourself, 
If you had a $10,000 credit card and you missed a payment or something, your score is gonna drop a, like 100 points, literally. So you business credit is important. Now, a lot of people don't do this because they think it's too hard or it's too many steps. Guys, let me tell you something. Take the time, it's, our, it's, Jan, it's just January, right? It's just January. If you take the time to start an LLC, if you don't know where to get an LLC from or to start one, you can go to a website, legalzoom.com. You can go there and depend on where you, depending on where you're at in your state, mine was only $114 to start an LLC. But different states are, are different. Sometimes it might be four to 500, but these are all investments, guys. Remember, this is the year of investments. The reason why LLC is so important is because it's something you can pass down to your kids. It's how you build generational wealth, guys, and that's what we're gonna get into. This is the richest secret, right? Using credit to their advantage. A lot of people, if we don't have the money, we have credit. That's why credit is important. Work on building your credit all year long. I promise you guys, you will win, you will win. I'm gonna tell you why though. Because, remember yesterday, well, when I dropped the other video uh, yesterday, uh, when I was just giving you guys different traffic methods and I said Ty Lopez used around $50,000 in advertising. That $50,000 didn't come from his own personal money. You see where I'm going with this? It came from business credit, guys. He built up a business credit profile, right? And he used that money because when you sign up, let me tell you something. If you use your personal, you know, your, if you start off getting personal credit cards, which is great, I'm gonna have around five or six. Cool, on the personal side, right? But if you get, you know, on personal credit, let's say you got a $5,000 limit from Chase, right? You can use that and that's fine, right? And that's, that's, that's pretty much a, enough money to do a couple things with. But when you operate as a business though, you get way more money. You get way more money. Why? Because they know that businesses need stuff. So the difference is if you actually apply for a chase on your personal, they'll give you a, a, a pretty fair amount, five, maybe eight, 9,000. But if you apply on a business side, if you apply under your business name, you're getting minimum around 25,000 upwards to 80 to $100,000 credit cards, right? right and you can get multiple or you can get bit bigger business loans so why is this so important because people say man i don't have the money for advertising well guess what start you an llc you can use your personal if you want to now i don't i mean if you don't want to do business credit use your personal and just don't apply for anything until you get that balance back down because your score is going to drop uh if you're late on your payments but if you do use business credit right it does take a little time to build. What do you need for to get business credit? Well, you need an LLC. Then you're gonna have to get a business address, right? You can't use your home address. You're gonna have to get a business address. You can get that online. You're gonna have to get a uh, virtual office number. So you're gonna you can go on Google and type in virtual uh, office numbers, and you can get a virtual number, a virtual address, or whatever. Uh, after that, you're gonna have to start uh, applying for like you know, vendor store cards and things like that to build, you know, a credit profile. And then from there, after you built, you know, a credit profile with them for about three to four months, then you can start applying for the actual business credit cards and things like that, guys. So we're looking at about a seven to eight month time frame to basically change the rest of your life. That's the time frame that you're looking at to change your life, guys. So do you have seven to eight months? Yes, because the time's gonna pass anyway. So you might as well be productive, right? If you're not, if you don't want to do business credit, you're not really worried about that, then do it on the uh, personal side. Just get you a couple personal credit cards because the things that you can do with this credit is insane. Let me give you guys an example. Example number one, let's say you built your personal, I mean your business credit and your personal side, you build your business credit up to around, you know, you can get, you know, 20, $30,000 in credit cards, right? Uh, let's say you got like four credit cards with like twenty or thirty thousand dollar limits on it, so you're looking at around a hundred and something thousand dollars worth of credit, right, in your business name, and then you also have money on your personal side, probably around thirty thousand dollars in credit. So you you big balling right now, you big balling. Now this is what you can do: you can go to a county auction in your city and purchase a home, right? So let's say a county auction, you're looking some houses probably around fifty. 50, 60,000, right? You got that, you got that on the credit, right? You already got that. Or you can get a business loan, but let's say you know you're using the credit cards, right? Boom, you got that. Go to the county auction, purchase you a home. 
They say, okay, this home needs some plumbing. Boom. So you pay, let's say you pay 50 for the house right and then the plumbing is going to cost you an extra three thousand so you just you know search around for a good plumber if you don't know one search around find a plumber he charges you three thousand boom and then let's say you know the floor just probably need to be fixed so you you find you a nice contractor or somebody fix the floor that's cost you another two thousand so now you're looking at around you at like sixty five thousand boom but you got the bread so it don't matter right you got the money so now you decide okay the house is fixed up you put it on the market to sell it Right, so you in debt right now. You like, man, I'm in debt, but you know the game. It's good debt. It's not bad debt. It's good debt because it's debt that's gonna make you money. Bad debt is if I was to go out with my uh, with my money, my hundred thousand dollars, and go buy a freaking ten thousand outfits, ten thousand shirts and shoes. Now that's that's bad debt. But you in good debt because you're purchasing investments, right? So let's say you sell that house, you know, for. You could sell it for about a hundred thousand. You fix it up real nice, could sell it for like a hundred thousand, something like that. You would after after everything is paid off, you probably in profit around thirty thousand, probably more than that, for thirty, forty thousand dollars after you didn't fixed and flipped it. Right? So now you take that money that you made, pay the credit card off, keep the rest. So now you in profit, like I said, around thirty, forty thousand after you paid your sixty five thousand dollars off on your credit cards. This is the kind of stuff. And not only did you do that, but it didn't affect your personal credit. That's why business credit is so important. Start you an LLC, guys. Start you an LLC. You're wondering why the rich are staying richer because this is what they do. This is what they do all day. I'm around, I'm around people now. I, I see it on YouTube all the time. I'm like, man, this is the game. This is for the average person like me and you who didn't have, you know, the have nots. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a person who feel like you got big dreams, you wanna open up a barber shop, or you wanna open up your own liquor store, or a hair, a hair shop, you know, this is what you can do. And you can do it with no money. It really didn't cost you nothing, really. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just a little bit of money. Probably, you know, let's say you got a secure credit card to start building your credit, around $200, you know. Boom, investments, guys. You gotta invest in yourself. But this, you went from, you know, being broke, basically, living paycheck to paycheck to now having over six figures at all times in your pocket, in your wallet. And anytime you go to a bank, because guess what's gonna happen, guys? Let's say after you did that property flip, you flipped that house, right? You made that money. You paid the bank off in probably two months because you sold the house quick, right? Boom, then you're gonna go back to the bank and now they're gonna trust you, right? They're gonna trust you with even more money. Why? Because you did what you had to do. You did what you were supposed to do. So now they're gonna trust you with, if you wanted a loan, they probably gave you what gave you 100,000, now they give you $300,000 this time. Then you can go to another bank and apply again for another 100,000. Now you have 400,000. Now you can do bigger investments, bigger properties. This is how all of these big companies like Walmart and all these companies form through business credit, guys. That's the game, right? But you don't, if you don't wanna be in real estate, let's talk online, right? Let's say you wanted to run a Facebook ad or a YouTube ad like these other guys have been doing that you always see. Cause that's what they're using, business credit, guys. This is the game, right? So let's say you wanted to put $4,000 on an ad. You got the money to do that. Now let's say that ad brought you back 25,000. Cause it happens like that, guys, I'm serious. So you spent 4,000, got back 25,000 from the product or service that you was promoting. You pay that credit card off and you keep the rest. Now you big bank Hank, you good. You see what I'm saying? Do you see how the game works, guys? This is what I have been living for. Moments like this. I learned all this stuff in, in less than a year and I'm applying it, guys. I'm applying it and then it's a game over. It's game over. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. So, if y'all like this video, man, if you like this, if you love this video, hit the like button. Comment below if you got any questions or concerns. If you need your credit fix, go get your credit fix. Easy, it's easy. Fix your own stuff if you wanna do it. You know what I'm saying? I got some links below you can fix your own stuff. If you wanna fix it by yourself. I mean, hey, sky's the limit. There's no excuses for you to say you don't got money. I can't join you because I don't got no money. If you had a credit card right now, you could have swiped that, been joined. Made your money back, paid your card off. These are all investments, guys. It's all about the investment. This is year of investments, period. Let's get this money. No excuses. I want, I want people to be hitting me up like, bro, I got a 700 credit score now. 
You know what I'm saying? I got, I just got approved for a $25,000 credit card. That's the kind of stuff I'm trying to hear. So what are y'all willing to do to make that happen? It's time for us to escape these nine to fives. You gotta get out of there, right? You gotta get out of there, right? Because in the next couple of years, like right now, it's like over 65% of the world, I mean of the uh, United States don't even have jobs no more. Why? Because of Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. People are making livings off the internet now. So you don't need a job. You don't have to have one. Use credit to your ability to escape. Fund your businesses, fund your dreams, guys. That's what it's all about, man. Contact me, you know what I'm saying? I'm always here to help. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully that inspired you to get up and get out and get that credit right, because I'm getting mine right straight up. You got to. All right, other than that, man, it's a long video. If you stay to the end, comment below. Uh, if you got any questions, comment below. What else y'all want me to talk about? Let's get it, man. This is your year, and I know you're going to win. So other than that, peace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, I do got to say something very, very, very important. When you start getting money, when you start getting money, pay your tithes and offering. I don't care if you don't believe or not. Trust, trust God in that area. You ain't got to go to church if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I would advise that you do. But if you don't, listen, at least just... Go online to a, find a church online. If you don't got one, mine is okcfaith.com, right? You can go to that website and click on give, and then you can pay, it says tithes and offering. You can pay 10% of whatever you make. 10% of whatever you make, guys. Once you pay that 10%, you good. As Soon as you make that money, pay that 10%. I'm telling you, your life will change forever. Forever, all right? So other than that, man, it's your boy, Jeremy Cash. We live, direct, and I'm out. Peace!